everyone welcome back to my channel microbiology easy notes if you like this channel please like subscribe comment and share today we are going to learn streak plate method so let's start in microbiology for identification of different microorganisms the very first step is isolation of individual species from mixed sample and this is done by streak plate method what is mixed sample so during the process of inoculation or while collecting the sample there may be a chances of cross contamination and the result is many species in one sample that will hinder the further work so to avoid this situation we need streak plate method this method was first developed by lofer and kefke it is wisely used vital and qualitative isolation method so let's see how we can do it as i told you streak plate method is used to isolate specific single microorganism from mixed culture there can be two possibilities mixed culture may contain different species for example lactobacillus streptococcus and pseudomonas may present in a single a sample so we can separate out one single genus from the sample by using this method the other possibility is mixed culture may contain same genus microorganisms but different species for example lactobacillus casei lactobacillus acidophilus lactobacillus bulgaricus may present in a same sample so to separate out one single species we can use this method there is a other possibility also where we can use this method to separate out single strain from mix of same species microorganism materials required for streak plate method are petri dish nutrient aga bunsen burner mixed culture inoculation loop and autoclave preparation of petri dish first take sterilized petri dish or disposable petri dish now pour autoclave media into it now we have a petri dish containing media close the lid and keep it at room temperature after 24 hours observe the plate if there is a contamination discard the plate uh, and prepare the new plate otherwise this plate is ready for further process and now we have a petri plate which is contamination free so next step is take the culture to be inoculated heat the inoculating loop in a bunsen burner cool it down for a few seconds dip it in a culture to be inoculated now inoculating loop is ready to be streaked on start from the edge of the plate lightly drag the loop and make a smear like area be careful do not cut the agar surface reheat the loop and cool it down for few seconds now drag the loop through the previously smeared area and streak 2 3 time as shown in the picture reheat the loop cool it and drag the loop again from previously streaked area 2 3 times repeat the same process last step fill the remaining area of plate with zigzag motion and make separate 3 4 separate dots in this process each time loop aggregates fewer and fewer bacteria until it gathers just single bacterial cell that can grow into a colony close the lid of the petri dish keep it upside down in incubator at 37 degree celsius for 24 hours after 24 hours take out the plate and observe the growth first section shows heavy confluent growth second section shows less heavy growth third section shows light growth while in fourth section we can see discrete colonies and at last we can see pure single colonies these colonies can be used for further processes so this is how by using streak plate method we can obtain single pure colonies streaking can be done in different patterns most common patterns are quadrant streak plate method continuous streak plate method and radiant streak plate method let's see how we can make these patterns first is quadrant streak plate method this is the most common type of streak plate method it has four sections each section contains individual 4 to 10 streaks make the streaks as i told you in previous slides you can see this in the picture how to make quadrant streak 
Continuous streak plate method. Split the organism in a single continuous movement to the center of the plate and mark this area as 1. Rotate the plate at 180 degree. Now uninoculated area is away from you. Starting from the edge of the plate, again spread the inoculum in other half of the plate in a single continuous movement towards the center of the plate. Because the streaks are continuous in this method, that is why it is known as continuous streak plate method. And now radiant streak plate method. From the edge of area 1, make 7 or 8 straight streaks to the opposite side of the plate. Cross streak over the last streaks starting near area 1. It looks like something is emerging in lines. That is why it is known as radiant streak plate method. After streaking, keep the plate in incubator and after 24 hours, observe the growth. Things to be considered. Do it in contamination free environment. Use sterilized tools and devices. Heat and cool down inoculating loop after streaking each section. Always label the plate with date and time. Streak gently, do not cut the agar. Keep the plate upside down in incubator.